Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. We have so much to talk about. Starting off with, we have a new member of our club. Honk honk to the lady behind Has. Have you seen this? Because it's pretty great. Look at her expression. In fact, look at Has's expression as well. If you pick anybody in this picture besides the two lunatics, I think they're, all of their expressions kind of paint a picture of what's going on here. Pretty funny. But we have so much to get into today. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jen. I hope your days get going better than Harry's face right here. <laughs> and after this video, we'll be making the face of the lady behind him. Oh, I'm still cracking up about this. Okay, we have so much to go into. We're going to look at a new video. I'm loving these videos coming out. Um, civilian videos, if you will. People around them filming and seeing true glimpses of what's going on. And we have a doozy to look at today. Thank you to St. Meghan Markle for this. And uh, so we'll take a look. I do want to take one minute and acknowledge the Sidley twins as well as Miss Panda 007 for making this beautiful graphic. Um, they announced that they lost Stephanie's dog, unfortunately, Luna. So uh, oh, it breaks my heart so much. So of course, you know, I love the Sidley so much. I'm going to let the, we're going to go over this video and go into it. And then if you will stick with me and I'll read the message that they put out as well as how we can, um, how we can give in honor of Luna. They're taking a step back this week, much deserved. And, and, um, let's just wish them well and keep them in our thoughts, of course. Okay. Deep breath. Here we go. Uh, again, stick with me at the end and I'll, I'll talk more about that. Um, all right. The Colombian VP, the lady on the right, we've seen her a lot. It seems like she started off very happy to have Hank and Skank, but uh, the pictures I've seen lately doesn't appear to be <laughs> the case still. We'll see. Um, the guy on the left is her partner. Now, I'm saying partner because I've seen in some places he's called her husband, but then when I Googled him, it appears he's listed as domestic partner. I, I don't know. He I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You get the idea. It they're together. So this is his name listed here. You can see it. I won't even try to butcher that, but um, this is him here. We've seen him. We've seen him around on this tour, right? When they, there's a picture of the four of them. I won't show it because it's official from R12, but it's a picture of the four of them when they first got there when she was in the, see, the Navy and the black shoes. But this is him sitting next to her here, that poor scared child on the other side of Megan. Poor thing. Um, <laughs> but the reason I'm going here and I'm showing you this is just to show we've seen him. We've seen him around. Okay. Well, there's a new video out and it all sp sparked. It sparked off because of, well, St. Meghan Markle and because of this picture right here. Now, yes, you greet people. Yes. Some cultures smooch like on the cheek or whatever. Does anybody else get a weird vibe off this? You know, yesterday we saw has man spreading all over that poor lady. Um, oh, you can go check out the video. I recorded it with Jay. But now we have where I'm seeing more and more flirty looking images like this between, you know, when people are speculating what's going on with Megan and, and this guy. Uh, it is quite odd, but I want to give a shout out here to St. Meghan Markle and specifically Golden B for posting this Golden B. -E -E -E. <laughs> it says video link, Colombian vice president literally forcing herself in between her husband. So he's listed as her husband here and Megan after the hug, that hug that I just showed you the picture of VP recognizes a home wrecker when she sees one. Ha. Huh. So I, you know, this title, of course, had me completely interested. I was like, what's going on? So just like I did with the last one, uh, and there isn't sound, there is sound, but I can't play it. It's like music playing in the background, but um, nothing you can actually hear or understand. But I thought, let's, let, I'm going to let the video play. It's like 20 something seconds. You watch it and then we'll discuss. So here we go. Okay, I realize it's blurry. Let me show you who's who so you know where to watch. Here's Hasna Balls. Here's the Colombian VP. You're going to want to keep an eye on her in the green skirt. This is Megan and the partner. I'm not even doing separate arrows because they're standing together and Megan's got her arm around him. So we'll get into some comments of what everybody believes is going on, but I think the consensus is pretty similar. It appears like Megan and the partner hug, the Colombian VP takes note, comes rushing back, puts herself in between Megan and the partner. 
pushes him back a little bit, it looks like, to create more distance, maybe. And then something's going on with Megan and, and has no balls. Oh, I've watched this thing a hundred times. It never gets old. Let's go in slow-mo. There's the hug between Megan and the partner. So the VP turns around, sees it, pushes her way in, it appears. And it just seems to back up that guy, the the partner guy. Has is there, you know, confused as ever. And then, um, see, then Megan takes his hand. Like, it's okay, Harry. You didn't, what you just saw didn't happen. Here you go. <laughs> oh, guys, it's funny. So again, here's a picture from the ground level. So you can see the hug itself before the hug and smooch before <laughs> VP put herself in the middle of that. So first of all, I'm dying to know your comments about all this. Let me know your thoughts. It just is funny how the VP whips around, puts herself in between them. There's that. And I know Harry's right there. Listen, I'm not saying that they're doing it right there in front of everybody, but I am, I am suggesting perhaps a little flirtation going on. And I find that completely interesting. Is it to make Harry jealous? Maybe. Uh, is it to... I don't know, do some sort of weird narcissism trick on the host? Probably. There's a lot of things, or could it just be for attention? Probably all the above. But I'm not the only one to take note of this. Uh, let's take a look at some of the comments from St. Meghan Markle, and you'll kind of get a funny picture of what people are saying. Starting with Umble Uriah Heap, it says, Oh my, VP not having any of it. She looks like she was about to throw down. Uh, let's see. She's defending her man pretty forcefully, too. Wow. Megan almost started an inter international incident. Maison B girl asks, was this before or after H had his his arm on the chair of the lady sitting next to him when stick bug flashed her knee? I did a video about that. Uh, it went up yesterday, so definitely check that out. H would probably sell the old gal to a substance lord if he thought they wouldn't send her back. Hell's Belzy had a great one that said, I honestly can't imagine why, dot, dot, dot. And then this picture, and it says, holy shit. This is a man she met four days ago. I hugged some of my husband's friends and his dad like this, uh, and my own male friends like this, but one-armed hug and a big moi on the cheek, I also hug and greet their wives, my mother-in-law, my female friends this way. But I've known them for 20 plus years. There's um, safety there. We know each other well. Yeah, exactly. So again, I got some comments saying the same, like, oh, Harry just had his arm draped around that lady. It doesn't mean anything. Maybe not. But if nothing else, he's invading her personal space. And if nothing else, maybe this doesn't mean anything. Their partners are right there. I get it. I'm not saying otherwise. I'm just saying, isn't it weird? Look at this. They've known each other for four days. And, and at this point, it was more like three days. So that's a very friendly greeting, if you ask me. I'm thinking if it, I mean, if she wouldn't even let Has stand next to somebody on a stage, remember the polo match? Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Ordering that lady around who had every right to be there. And yet, this is how she's greeting this guy she just met. Like, it's it's weird. So then we have Starkville that said, this is the best thing to come out of this trip. I love this cock block so hard. That woman spins around, gets her body between her man and Madame. I fully expected to see her pull off her earrings and take off her shoes. Oh, I know. I know, right? To which Trailer Trash Queen says... Haha, <laughs> yes, the VP rushed over, blocked her husband, and used her whole body to push him out of the way. Sigh. This trip has been filled with nonstop hilarity. It's a shame it's almost over, right? La Nice Gata points out the VP looked like she was going to slide into the seats, but then notices Rachel behind, and she spins around so fast right in between her man and the former mattress actress. Your turn. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on all this. Again, uh, let's see. Thank you, Golden Bee, for posting this and sharing this on St. Meghan Markle. Thank you to everybody who chimed in on this one. I'm still cracking up about this. Again, what, four days? I, they're saying four days. I'm thinking three days at this point, right? I think this was the third night. I'm, I'm yeah, Who knows? Everything's murky with these two. Oh, God, that face. That lady behind has is still my favorite. But um, I like the lady in the orange with the red glasses, too. She just looks like she's baffled by what she's seeing as well. But um, <laughs> so much to discuss. Okay, so uh, we've talked about that. Let me tell you about the Sidley twins. Okay, 
This was shared, uh, posted by Nancy, uh, but signed by Nancy and Stephanie on, this was posted on Twitter. That's where I got it from. And then um, they posted something similar on their community tab on their YouTube page here. But in case you didn't see it, it says, hi, friends, we have some sad news. Luna lost her battle with cancer yesterday. She was strong until the very end, but her body couldn't take it. We're completely devastated, especially Stephanie, who lived for taking care of her. Luna and Steph Stephanie were inseparable for the short time we had her. We encourage everyone to keep adopting senior pets because they're extremely special. We're so grateful for the little time we had with Luna. It would not take trade it for anything in the world. Please understand that we need time to process and grieve. We will be back, but until then, please consider donating to these charities in honor of our sweet Luna Bella Sidley. Please spay or neuter your pets. Love Nancy and Stephanie. So the the links that they have suggested, if you decide you want to do something to help, it's um, frankiesfriends.org and seniordoghaven.org. So um, just something to keep in mind if, if that you know if that's something you're interested in and you want to do something on behalf of Luna or on behalf of Nancy and Stephanie. That's what they're encouraging people to do. And this is this was beautiful Luna. The, the picture that they shared to go along with the post. As I said, um, you know, to them and, and, and to you all, I just, I think Nancy and Stephanie are such incredible people for so many reasons, but I think it's so special what they do to help dogs. You know, anytime they do their live streams and, and, and we tip toward them, they put it toward a dog charity. A, a, and, and honestly, they help more than just, I think they're helping a lot of different animals, but specifically dogs. They do so much to help. And I, I just think that's one of the reasons I love them so much. They're so special and they do so many wonderful things like this and really care for animals. And I think they're incredible. And I'm just so sorry for their loss. I truly am. And my heart goes out to them. And I appreciate you guys have even been leaving me sweet messages. I'm fine. I just, I'm worried about Stephanie, you know, and, and Nancy, of course, and I've been in touch with them and, um, they're doing okay. It sounds like, you know, as best they can, they're going to take some time back and, and I'm in full support. I told them anything they need. I'm here for, um, whatever they need, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for, I just, gosh, I want to help so much. So, um, we gave uh, to the organizations. If that's something you're interested in, definitely check them out. Hey, I know it would mean so much to Nancy and Stephanie. Guys, hard to end it on this note. Thank you to everybody. You're so wonderful. Maybe consider dropping Stephanie and or Nancy a note. Um, again, they posted under their community tab on their YouTube page, as well as I saw this post um, on Twitter. Um, it just yeah, it breaks my heart for them. I, that's that's an incredible loss and that will leave a hole, um, I'm sure. And so we just, I'm here, you know, we're all here for them and, and want to support them any way we can. As always, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. You guys are the best bunch of flockers. I love this group and I, um, I will talk to you guys again soon. I'm sending you all a big hug. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye.